Okay, so hello and welcome to a quick iron wheel vlog. What this vlog is basically about is my kit hire service which I offer. Now if I can, I will, I'll come and try and set it up in the room where you want the party and then collect it after the party. But every now and then I may not be in the area or DJing somewhere else and then it'll be down to you guys to set up the system. Now, it's very quick and easy to set up. Um, what I really want to do today is just run through how to connect the wires, um, how to um, get the Bluetooth onto the speakers as well and just run through kind of speaker stand set up and the do's and the don'ts really of doing it. But it's very simple, don't turn off at this point, it's very, very quick and easy. Um, let me just run through it. Right, first thing you will need is one of these, which is basically a speaker stand. Um, there's a little knob here which you undo. Um, everything just gets done kind of finger tight. Don't go manly and try and think, well, the tighter it is, the stronger it's gonna be, because actually what we will end up doing is just kind of threading the nut as well. Um, so just to open them up. Now what you want to try and do is get these spars here near, nearly at horizontal. If they're at horizontal, you've got an absolutely massive, so where's, where's, there you are, there you go. You, you've got a massive kind of floor space area which you're going to take up, which will add to the stability of the speaker stand, but in my eyes it adds to the trip hazard as well and then I think you're going to get more problems from it. So just set it down so, so the legs are about two and a half, maybe three foot apart from each other. Tighten up the knob, just, just as I say, just finger tight, don't, don't, don't wrench it too much. Put it down. Now one of the key points of speaker stands is you've got the three legs. Always have one of the legs directly behind the speaker. So if someone's coming into the, you know, falling in towards the speaker from the front, um, you've got a big support at the back there. So the speaker stand shouldn't topple over. Always be very careful where you put the speaker stands, try and avoid people obviously crashing into them. Keep an eye out for, you know, for people in the room as well who, who look like they might be heading that way, so to speak. Um, then what we do is we've got a little, little knob here, just lift it up. Now you want to go up about five of these holes if, if you've got the headroom. One, two, three, four, five. And you have a pin which you put in to there. Place it down and do the knob back up again. Okay, so depending now, on the lighting system which I provide for you guys, um, quite often I'll try and include these chaps. These are, these are really great because they just sit onto the speaker stand and takes up even less room, but you still get the same effect. Um, you've got a knob on the back of it, just make sure that's, that's open. Put it over the top, slide it down. I'd say drop it down about seven or eight inches. Tighten up the knob at the back. Um, I'd say just, just finger tight, not massively tight. And now also what you can do is you can stack in these nuts off and you can point these lights to wherever you want them to go in the room. It's quite good to have a couple up on the ceiling, a couple down on the floor and on the other speaker stand you can have some on the back walls and things as well. So you can direct them about. Okay, so once you've plugged it in, as you can see it's on sound active, so if I tap it So then we'll go with the beat of the music or people talking or whatever. When we have our speaker, it says here, we have a little knob on the back of it just here. Just loosen that off and put that onto the speaker. You might need two of you to do this, um, but I'm massively strong, so it's very easy for me to do. Uh, anyhow, there you are. So just do up your, just do up the little um, knob behind there. So to speak. Um, now, why do you have it five up? Simply because up here you've got your tweeters and you've got your bass cone down here. Now, if these tweeters are right at this level, down in your ears, it will probably hurt by the end of the evening. And what you want to do is have the tweeter, the, the high end sound, going over the top of people's heads um, so people can hear it at the back of the room. With the bass will we'll sort itself out, that will go everywhere, it's you know, multi directional and things, but, but the tweeters are very directional, so you want that sound to carry across the room. If it's down at this level, as I say, two things are going to happen. Firstly, you'll be right in your ear and it'll be, it'll be you know, quite shrill, for want of a better word. And also, they're going to be hitting a wall of people here, within, you know, on, the, you know, on the dance floor area, and they won't necessarily hear it at the back of the room as well. Okay, now, let me just undo that nut again. On the back here, we have all the controls to the speakers. 
Firstly, make sure the volume's all down before you before you turn it all on. Otherwise, your speaker's just going to go whoa, too much sound. Okay, now these speakers are what they call active. It means that they, there's no amplifier, or individual amplifier. The amps are already built into here, so they need to be powered. So you simply get one of these kettle leads, which I provide you with, obviously. Plug it into the bottom down here. Make sure the power's already you know just turned off, and then simply plug that into the extension lead which I would have provided. Um, so now if you turn the speaker on you'll get a little green light at the top here. Now all you do is get um, the cable which runs back to the iPod. You'll have two of these, one to go in each speaker. So now at the top here you have input one and input two. You can use either of these. I, I always use input one but um, this seems to make sense. Put that in to there. And get your volume knob there. Now, at the other end of the cable, what you want to do, you've got a simple headphone jack. Now you can put that into your iPad, into, a, into the headphones of your laptop, whatever you're running the music off. Um, for this example, I'm just using a tiny little iPod Nano. Um, turn it on, press play. Just turn up the volume. So as you can hear, the music's already playing. Second. Now that's one way which you can have your music. Obviously we do exactly the same on another speaker stand. So you have your left and your right channels going to your both inputs. So you're getting it in stereo sound obviously. Another way which these particular speakers work is with Bluetooth. Um, I don't always recommend people run it on Bluetooth simply because if the phone's in their pocket and they go to the toilet which is up and down some stairs and out the room they'll come back in and everyone would have stopped dancing simply because the music would have gone off when you left the room. Also every now and then you, you get a little problem if somebody else is running a Bluetooth phone or something you get a little bit of interference. It work, generally works really really well. It means you can be on the dance floor and you say oh you know let's dance to this track next you can you can select the music. But um, I always generally prefer to have it a wired sound it's just that little bit better. But anyhow, setting up Bluetooth is incredibly easy. Um, up here you have a Bluetooth control panel, make sure the volume's turned down. Um, you have two buttons here, just press the top one, just in case I've forgotten to clear, clear, the, clear it from last time. It means that this will now sync fresh to, to your iPad or iPhone, whatever, whatever system you're going to use. Okay, now to pair, to get the speaker connected to your iPhone is very easy. Press the top button again, just once. And you'll, you'll hear it's now searching for a Bluetooth device. What you now do is take your phone, turn it on. Go to your settings button. Okay, now down here it says devices searching. In a minute, fingers crossed, it will come up. There you are, Auto Pro Wireless. Press that. And in a minute you'll hear the speaker and the phone syncing. Okay, so they're syncing now. In a minute this light will turn to constant blue. Okay, constant blue. Okay, if that doesn't work, it normally does, if that doesn't work, just, just cancel everything again by pressing and holding the top button and run through it again. Okay, so now that's synced to the phone, what we want to do is pair the speakers together. Now the speakers can actually be, you know, everything can be quite a distance from each other. Um, obviously the further apart it is, there's more risk of a little bit of interference coming in. All we do now is there's a second button down here, just press it. You can hear the pinging. What I'll do now is just take you over to the second speaker, which I've set up just over here. Okay, now with this speaker just press the second button down again. So now what we'll do is that they will communicate with each other. Sometimes this takes about 30 seconds. Now they're communicating. Okay, so on the other speaker what we should have now is two blue lights, one saying it's paired to the phone 
and the other, the other light saying it's paired to the second speaker. And now on this second speaker, we have a blue light as well. So you should have the three blue lights on, which means you're good to go. Just turn the volume down to sensible level. Grab your iPhone. Find some music. And press play. Turn up, turn up the volume on your phone. So there you go, you can hear it playing already. Now what you're gonna do is just adjust the volume on, on the speaker to the right level. I won't turn it up too loud because I still need to talk to you guys. Okay, so that's your music set up. So you've got a wired system running into your iPod or laptop and you've also got a Bluetooth device set up as well. Okay, as you can see, I've set up the speaker stands with the lights underneath. Another great light, which I'll try and get out you know, with, with a higher is, is this jet. It's great because this will wash the room with colour um, as well. Uh, that simply goes up onto another speaker pole, which you've opened up the same way as these speaker stands. Um, there's a clip to the front, he just undoes. Go behind. Just be careful when you bring this one round that you don't pinch your fingers and there's also there's a wire there which you need to be slightly careful of just as you close it. And there's another little clip on the back of each side of this. Grab the kettle lead which is already plugged in. Just plug it into the pad at the back. Make sure it's all straight and adjust the knob at the back to secure it as well. Okay, as you can see, the lights have all come on. Uh, what we'll do is have them in sound active, so once again, as you tap them, they'll, they'll move about as well. Now, the wire which comes with the speakers for wiring in the sound, it, it's quite long, so you can move these speakers, you know, up to about kind of 10 metres apart, really, to get some really good, you know, stereo sound and make the dance floor bigger. But, um, say, so what this kit's designed is to try and take up as little floor space as possible but to give you most impact for the lighting. A couple more lights which I try and provide with a kit heart are things called uplighters. These are great, you can have them as it on the entrance as you walk into the party or just behind the setup or by the bar area. Um, they are these chaps here. Um, what you do is you have, they'll probably come to you like that if I haven't already set up for your party. Just unscrew these knobs either side Open up the feet like so, just give them a little tighten back up again there. Grab yourself one of the kettle leads, just simply plug it into the back, you can see it immediately comes on. Now on the back of this light, and actually it's the same with all the lights because they're um, very very similar, you'll see a display. You have a mode button. Press mode, well it's already on SO which is sound, so it's sound activated. So if you see the green light on the wall behind me, there you are, if I tap it, it will change its colour. Okay, you can go up and down to the, to the programmes and it basically just gives you different combinations of lights. Um, if you press the mode again, say if you wanted to get it onto colour, if you, want, if you were having a pink party, um, go on to CL, that's colour number 7. If you go up, right, okay, so CL1 is red. Can you see the red light on the wall? CL2 is green. CL3 is blue. CL4 is like a turquoisey green. CL5 is like a yellowy green. CL6 is like a pinky purple. Back to CL7. So you can, you can choose the colour you want the uplighters to be. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to put it into SO. Let's make it SO8. So I'll try and provide two of these for you as well. These go up against the wall. Okay, so that is the basic system. Um, what I will try and do is provide you know, a roll of tape with the, the setup just so you can um, just take the wires, just take the wires up to the, to the back of the speaker stands. Um, just to try and tidy things up and make slightly less of a trip hazard as pe you know, people are running about and things as well. 
Okay guys, so this is an example of a typical iron wheel kit hire service. Um, if I can come and help install it and pick it up after the event, I will, but the chances are I'm DJing some of us on the same night. Um, it's great, it's been designed to fit into kind of smaller spaces as well. Um, all the lights have been designed to give you different jobs in life. Um, you've got your uplighters which you can put down by the bar or behind the speakers, just adding, you know, washing the wall with colour. You've got the power bar here or a similar setup so you can direct them onto different walls. And um, these, what they call foreplay lights, which go underneath the speakers, are great because they send out, send out beams of light as well, giving you, you know, pretty patterns on the walls. Um, also, with the, with the use of the smoke machine, which I provide as well, you get the proper shards and, and the beams of light flashing across the dance floor as well. All that's left to do now is grab your iPhone or your iPad or whatever system you're running up to the speakers, press play, pour yourself a drink and have yourself a really good evening. There you go. Enjoy!